So I've recently started using my designs to upload print on demand products in bulk to my Etsy shops. And I'm surprised at the amount of success I've seen with this. My designs, first of all, saves you a ton of time because you can upload like up to 120 designs in bulk. They have really, really nice mockups, which really help increase the, the conversion rate of your listings on Etsy and you can upload your designs to multiple products in one listing, which is a really, really great feature that saves you, in a sense, Etsy's uh, listing fees, because you don't have to list all of the products individually. And the best thing about this, you can use almost all of their features totally for free up to two gigabytes. And to give you an idea how many designs you can upload to, to Etsy with two gigabytes worth of file storage, I've uploaded about a thousand designs now, which comes to four gigabytes. So you should be able to get about 500 listings onto your Etsy shop with the free version, which is just amazing. It's really quick and easy as well, once you know how to do it, which is what I'm going to show you in this video. To get started, just click the link in the description, which will bring you to this page right here. And if you click the big blue button in the middle, you can get signed up to my designs by entering your name, email and password, and that will give you access to a free account. You will also obviously need an Etsy shop um, if you don't have one already. I will also leave a link in the description, which if you create a shop, through that link, you will get 40 free listing credits, which is really handy because listings do cost about 20 cents per listing on Etsy. Also, if you if you need some help setting up a, an Etsy shop, I did make a tutorial a while back where I walk you through the process step by step. I also show you how to connect your Etsy shop to Printful there, which you don't need to follow that part of it if you want to sell with My Designs. Once you've logged into your My Designs account, you will come to this dashboard page, and the first step you need to take is head to this settings tab over here and then integrate your Etsy shop with my designs that is done through this integration section my tab will look different to yours because I've already got my shops connected but the process is very simple here if you do get stuck just pop out this get started section from the right and click on this second one down that says how to integrate Etsy with my designs and then once you've done that head over to listings now in here we create different folders so that our designs are more organized and easier to filter through and upload to our shops. First of all, you will have to create a new folder. So click on this home button up here, then click this little icon on the top right that says create a collection. You want to give it a name so you can still find these designs afterwards or find the right folder. And for the template, we're going to use a saved or public one. Uh, you can also create your own templates, but the preset ones are pretty good. So we'll select the Etsy multi product template in this case, and then just click create a collection. Next up, locate your collection in the left sidebar, click on it and then hit open top right. So your collection should be empty. Mine's already got some designs in here ready to go, but to upload your designs, to your collection, use the blue button in the top right corner right here, drag and drop all of your design files into this field and then hit upload all. The import might take a couple of minutes, but you can just do something else while that's running in the background. Then once it's ready, the first step we need to take is create a listing for these, but we can do that in bulk as well, which is really handy. Just come up to this button right here and then hit select all. That's going to select all of our files in this collection and then use the more actions button to edit in bulk. So to quickly explain this field right here, uh, you've got the option to edit your title, description and tags separately. And you can also change the action over here. So rather than adding to the front, you could add something to the end. You can find and replace, find and delete words, overwrite the entire field. It's really handy to have these different options here because sometimes you want to just erase a certain word from your listing or add one to the end. At the bottom, you see a preview of what the listing is going to look like. Because if I type in uh, into the title right here, retired, you can see the preview. And we're going to use a variable as well, um, which you do with this button down here, because I've named all of my files according to the correlating job title as in the design, which is a practice that I do recommend. So for example, if I add a variable here, change this from value to app, then you can see right here, retired accountant is in the preview. And that is for the first listing for the for the second one is going to change to retired actor because it's pulling the variable from my file details. So really handy trick right there to save a lot of time while creating listings. The rest of the title, we could put something like retirement gift, then you could also 
right in t-shirt and hoodie that's the two products i'll show you in this example you can upload more in one go to one listing so you could also add sweatshirt right here tank top as i mentioned but for this example just to speed it up a bit I will leave those out and then once you're happy with the title and the way it looks right here in the in the preview window then you can just hit apply to select at listings click yes and as you can see this has applied the title to every single design um, with the variation of the job title in every single one of them so that's how to use the edit in bulk section um, i'll now just quickly fill out the other ones so um, we can save a bit of time for this video you'll have to do the same for the description and the tags as well once you're done with your listing data the next step is going to be adding some mock-ups to these and for that first of all once again select all of your listings head up to more actions and click on mock-ups now i'm doing this with 120 listings at a time um, because i've got the pro version with the free version you can do it with 24 listings at a time which is still a great number and still going to save you a ton of time but just bear that in mind so click on mock-ups and here we've got an abundance of really really nice mock-ups for different clothing items you can filter this at the top with searching by name so for the t-shirts i would recommend going for either the gildan 5000 which is the cheapest option or um, you could go for the Bella 3001. This is a bit more expensive. In my opinion, the mock-ups look a lot nicer. And I think this shirt also has better ratings or slightly better quality. So you have to make the choice there. What's more important to you, profit or uh, listing and, and product quality. I'll show you the example with the Gildan 5000 just because that's the cheapest option. And I'm guessing most people will go for that. Try and find a mock-up uh, that looks nice for the 5000. I would recommend using this one right here. Um, it's, it's one of the nicer ones, I think, because if we generate a preview, you will see that the design is quite big within the thumbnail. It's quite zoomed in, which is really handy for sort of the, the primary thumbnail on your Etsy listing, uh, because then the design is way easier to see compared to one of these other ones right here where the listing or the t-shirt is more zoomed out. Uh, so there's the preview right there. Looks really nice. It's not the only one that you can use you can add multiple ones but essentially up here where it says file slot we're using the default one which is our original design and we're pasting the mock-up onto t-shirt one as you can see if you're doing it for other products you've got the um, other preset slots right here if you want a different color you could change that as well over here and then just hit create mock-ups now that job's been added to our active jobs list over here and while that's running you can well first of all you could completely click off the browser and it would still keep on running it's all cloud-based really handy it doesn't use your own computer processing power at the same time we can go ahead and create some more mock-ups as well in this case we're going to create one for the hoodies i would recommend going with the 18,005 that's the cheapest hoodie option and it does have some nice mock-ups and they've just added some Valentine's Day ones as well so my designs really ahead of the trends really really forward thinking with adding these sort of cool Valentine's Day themed mock-ups into here and in terms of these ones I think this one is quite nice I would recommend sometimes rather than using pure black just go up a little bit so it looks a bit more realistic sometimes using like a full black in a mock-up can look a bit you know too dark and not like the product would actually look in real life once again just play around with these mock-ups try some of them out because you might like one better than the other you've also got different size chart options which you can generate the size charts while you're publishing the listings which i'll show you in, in about five minutes so you don't need to create these separately but what you also have which is quite useful is these color charts I think this mock-up looks quite nice really really high quality mock-up I really like my designs for the mock-ups so if you're happy with that choose the output file slot once again and here we're going to select hoodie number one so while these hoodie mock-ups are running the other task is already done and if you wanted to preview the mock-ups you could go to file slots over here and just change it from default to t-shirt one as you can see that's going to change the slot for all of the listings right here and preview the mock-ups for each individual design basically if you're happy with the mock-ups that you've created um, I would recommend creating one per product at least so you can have some custom ones for the customer to view in your listing but once they're all done uh, which this one is nearly done come on there we go you can then head up to publish and click on products platforms Etsy there is an option to sell your designs as digital products as well as digital downloads but that's a whole other video I made a video about half a year ago about this topic if you want to watch that 
Um, it's a bit out of date now because my designs has updated the platform a lot since then, but it is also an option worth considering. If you want to sell print and demand products, which this video is about, click on the products option. Then you'll have to select your Etsy store right here. You can select a clothing category if you want to. Uh, you don't have to select like every single option here. Gender neutral adult clothing is enough and then hit validate and next steps. Then click on men's clothing, all t-shirts, and we're going to select the Gildan 5000. As I mentioned, you could also use the Bella 3001. Swift POD is my preferred option because they're cheaper, they're quicker, and they've also got better ratings as a printing company. So select that one. And now is where we select the uh, colors for our products, as well as the mockups for the listing. So first of all, where it says mock-up files right here, you want to tick black and navy, maybe also dark heather. That's sort of the colors that I like to select. I, I usually untick this blue option. Can choose up to 10 colors here. I don't like to give too many options. You see that there's these mock-ups being generated here, which don't really look that amazing. You could change it to this model or this type of mock-up instead, but you can also untick uh, generate variants and that way they don't get generated and you can just use your preset one from down here so additional images select your slot from earlier t-shirt one and there we go that's added that as a primary thumbnail if you wanted to add these other ones on you can but you do not have to i would also recommend clicking generate size chart because here if we change this to black and select this option i prefer this one to the white option then as you can see you get a size chart right here which is really handy because not only does that look more professional in the listing but it also saves customers from having to come to you to ask about sizing which has happened to me in the past it's really annoying when you have to help customers with finding the right size um so that's really handy to have in there so that's i think great in terms of the t-shirts now we want to add the hoodies as well which you do up here with this little plus symbol i'm going to search for 18,500, which is the name of the Gildan hoodie that we want to add. Once again, I would prefer to use Swift POD here because they're slightly cheaper and usually faster. Then we can click for the additional images, hoodie one. That's where we saved this mock-up earlier. And by the way, if you wanted to move anything around, uh, in terms of the order, the order, the mockups will be added to Etsy. You can just click on one image and drag it up. So if you wanted the size chart to be further at the top in the second slot, or if you wanted a whole nother primary image in general, you could do that like this, uh, just flip things around. But in terms of the hoodie, once again, just select the colors that you want to offer right here. So black, navy, dark heather, maybe green. You have to decide for yourself. You can generate more mock-ups. There is only a maximum of 10 allowed in an Etsy listing, so it's not worth it having a lot of mock-ups. And I don't really like the hoodie mock-ups in this uh, upload function anyway. So I usually just untick that and generate a size chart instead. Change the color of the size chart to black. Once again, I like changing it to this gray option. There we go. I think that's a pretty neat listing for our t-shirts and hoodies. Once you're happy with that, I mean, you can add more products as i mentioned just click the plus symbol you can add more into their sweatshirt tank tops long sleeves uh, but if you're ready to go then click validate and next step which is where we configure the pricing for our products so first of all we've got the gildan 5000 selected so that's our t-shirt which we're configuring the price for you can also flick through the listings up here by the way to preview them and we can apply the price to all of these in bulk as well so that's done on the right hand side make sure to have all sizes and all colors selected and then just where it says replace enter 22.99 is what i would recommend at least if we hit apply then we can see a preview right here of the price and the profit that you want to get now uh, some of you might think why do you price it so high and why do you expect to get $14 profit for a t-shirt? That's ridiculous. But what you have to consider here is that first of all, Etsy takes some fees out of this profit, at least probably $3. Second of all, rather than charging $5 for shipping, which is what Swift POD charges me, I typically like to offer a cheaper price to the customer of say $1.99 or $2.99. So that means there's another two or $3 gone out of this profit. And I sometimes like to run sales on Etsy, uh, giving customers 10% off, 50 percent off so if you take all of those different cost factors out of the profit margin you're left with like five six dollars maybe of profit per t-shirt that's why the price is a bit higher you don't have to price at 22.99 and you don't have to use the same uh, sort of shipping price strategy that i use but this is just an example so as you can see right here the bigger sizes 
uh, cost more to print so your profit margin is smaller to battle that just change it from all sizes to 5xl here i usually like to set this to 26.99 just copy that Control c and hit apply it's changed that profit to 14 dollars as well now change it to 4xl paste the same number in there hit apply and we're going to do that essentially for all of the other bigger sizes as well the 2xl isn't as expensive to print so there you could offer something like 24.99 and hit apply now another quick little tip um, which i actually learned from ryan hoke is you could select one single color let's say maroon because not too many people order maroon most people would order like black or navy and change the size to s if you replace just that color and just that size with a cheap price like 17.99 for example and hit apply then it's going to show on the etsy listing that your pricing starts at 17.99 and that obviously looks quite cheap so people are more likely to click on your listing essentially. So that's it in terms of the t-shirt pricing. If you want to change the price for the hoodie now, you have to swap up here, tap and click on Gildan 18,500. Here in terms of the hoodie pricing, I usually like to start off with all sizes, all colors and replace this with 39.99 and hit apply. Now that's going to show us an even bigger profit of $22. In this case, uh, I like to set it quite high because the shipping cost for hoodies is higher than it is for t-shirts. I think they charge about eight pounds or something per hoodie. So because they're in the same listing as the t-shirts, you will also charge the customer the same shipping price than for the t-shirts. So you, you lose about five, six dollars uh, for the shipping alone right there, which you kind of have to factor into the product's price. And in the end, after Etsy fees, after the shipping cost or offering a cheaper shipping cost and everything, um, you're probably left with about nine ten dollars of profit i would say per hoodie so i think that's reasonable for the other sizes the bigger sizes 5xl i would usually go for 44.99 that brings that size up to 22 dollars as well i think 2xl once again isn't as expensive so there you could go down slightly in price if you wanted to do like 42.99 that looks great for the hoodie pricing once you're done with that or once you're done with pricing all of your products just click on next step and there we go we get another preview um, you can select the store on the right hand side that you want to publish them to and once you're happy with everything you see just hit publish right there and as you can see in the active jobs list there's 120 listings right here just been added and these are now being published to etsy and they will be added to your draft section by the way don't worry my designs won't just automatically pay the listing fee and publish them all this might take a little bit longer than creating the mock-ups uh, the upload process they have to upload all of the mock-ups and all of the listing data for every single design but once that's done, you have to save a lot of time and effort by doing this all in bulk and it's going to be automatically fulfilled once an order is placed through my designs, which is really, really handy and hands off, very easy going. If you want to be successful with your print on demand business in 2023, then you need to watch this video next, where I'll show you the seven steps you need to follow to help you get there.